third best dumpster dive ever. I found this case of books called Above All Else about a skydiver whose parachute didn't open and he fell and lived through it. It's about that experience. Whole fresh case of these I found with three cases of Sony laminating paper that's out of production. It was super expensive because they don't make it anymore. And a case of these was in there. Brand new books. Somebody just bought out my remaining stock and uh, with those books I, man that might have been five six years ago now at least I listed those on Amazon um, I think that was one of the finds that got me got me going on Amazon as a bookseller around that time I realized how valuable textbooks how well they sell on Amazon but anyways with those books there was two times where they sold like hotcakes and the rest of the time was just like a trickle like one one would go every four months or so i think the the first time i had a run on those books i think it it must have got a, a review somewhere probably in a big city newspaper or something and then now with the with the uh, quarantine and stuff going on i think some dude just bought a bunch of those and sent them out to his friends across the country is my my guess at it anyways but anyways it's kind of nice to get rid of all those i'm not sure what this video is going to be about yet i may finish shooting it tonight or maybe tomorrow but figured out a good way to start look into them amazon book sales if you're out there lots of you people might be confined social distancing where i live it's kind of like being on another planet turn the TV off and go out here and it's really not that different it's it's not even really an issue here and on top of it business have closed and everyone's social distancing so it's really almost a non-issue fortunately where I live and uh, I know a lot of people don't have that luxury but anyways for those of you that are stuck at home you may want to uh, start finding ways I'm sure you already had the thought to make self-employed make money on your own this uh, little crisis is probably going to generate and create a whole lot of creative businesses out there and self-supportive people
it's always my worst nightmare when I find these jacks in the garbage. I see people at the scrapyard. We'll buy these at the scrapyard, and I always wonder if they just go and use them without looking at them. <laughs> this is a bad deal. That one's got a problem. That one's probably functional, but well, <laughs> I'm not going to trust it with my life. Uh, I always wonder about stuff like that. Some of the stuff in the dumpster is in the dumpster for a reason. I think lots of times people start to think of some smorgasbord buffet of really good stuff, but some of it's actually garbage. That's a big steel cabinet. Oh, this is the second dumpster down from the post office. I don't know if the GoPro can pick up the post office sign down there. So sometimes just peeking in these dumpsters can be profitable. This was a water fountain. That's a nice high grade stainless steel metal water pump down there that was probably pretty cool once upon a time i find lots of these waterfall water pump water feature deals some of this handy could probably fix them up pretty nice this normally when i find street signs i'll just kind of avoid them i think that's been shot i was taking some gunshots this probably came from a small town somewhere that's quite old if I had to guess, hey, that one's made out of wood. Huh. It's not from around here. Technically, you're not supposed to, scrapyards aren't supposed to step street signs. They're usually made out of a high grade metal, or I mean aluminum. Those are made out of steel and wood. That's probably sellable. I could probably sell that on Etsy if I really wanted. That's kind of heavy, but it's sellable for sure. People like buying that kind of stuff. Normally I wouldn't really mess with it, but that one's so old. No one's gonna miss that. There's no city around here that's gonna complain about that thing. <laughs> Not coming back to them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine at least nine gunshots and on the other side 10 11. i wonder if this top one got shot up so bad they replaced it one day or something what do you think big shotgun blast to it or something anyways it's getting kind of dark out here for the camera I shouldn't have turned the camera off. That would have been kind of fun to watch. That's a nice chunk of stainless. It's got some decent weight to it. <laughs> the rest of that thing is just a big chunk of plastic. But this is a nice little, nice little bit. This is a uh, free dinner at Taco Bell is what that is. Although, in my last video I showed stainless steel at 15 cents a pound. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. But, 15 cents a pound is better than 10 cents a pound. That's about 7 pounds or so. Nice little chunk oil. Came across this box here totally sealed up it's marked hazardous materials oh i know it's getting kind of dark out here so let's take that home <laughs> crack that open under some lights i think there's another sealed one down there nah. Let's 
take some hazardous materials home. Ugh. Scored some other gems on the way home. I only checked, I went, went through one apartment complex. Bunch of aluminum blinds. Those add up in a hurry. Some nice, nice aluminum weight in there. And I found this little fella. He's looking, he's just about dried out. I mean, he's nice and healthy, but this, no, he just, he doesn't have much longer, so let's give him a dose of, dose of love. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Got just the spot for this replacement plant. Uh oh, so pay attention to what I was doing first. I put that thing in there when it was just a little guy. Um, shoot. I actually went to the store a couple of weeks ago to buy some of these. They didn't have any, lucky for me. Chill out for a few days right there. Won't mess with them a whole lot. My uh, photosynthesis light is burned out. But, uh, Chinese evergreen. I think it's been replanted or something. I don't think that's the name of that plant. But, uh, anyways. Guy going over here in the light. Let's see. There you go. Replacement plant action. Okay. Methanol. Um, flammable liquid. not super heavy maybe 15 20 pounds I don't want to take it inside packing slip has not been touched optimal pain and wellness I don't want to show these people's names but flammable liquid okay <laughs> turn it into a fun little video what do you think I need oh, my keys are up in the door. Oh, I'm peek, sneak peek in there. Look at that. Some kind of packing material. Drum roll, please. That's some high quality packing tape. I'll tell you what. Spooky. <laughs> you guys scared? I've never seen a packaging insert like that. I wonder if it's bottles of stuff. Oh boy. <laughs> Nick, it's even worse. It's even more, more ominous looking. What are we dealing with? Those are glass bottles. That's a that is one weak, goofy little packing setup for glass bottles. I guess this thing is saving the day. But still, it's a little rough housing. With hazardous materials, well, there's really no excuse for packing it like that, without a doubt. Even with this stupid thing on there, without a doubt. Hey, they're empty. Acetone. They're all empty. That thing's been sealed back up. 
water. <laughs> Acetone water. Water for HPLC. Methanol. Any smart people out there know what that's all about? What do you think? One methanol, one acetone. Two waters. Boy, they did a good job sealing that back up. Unless, I wonder, was there any? Huh. Oh, they're totally empty. That did not look like a reseal to me. I thought that was the original deal. Huh. Guess they don't care about their packing sleeves. Anyways, drive throughs our Farkle hot spots. Look at all of them down there. They don't have someone coming out picking them up after they close down. I don't see anything wrong with. A scavenger coming through the drive through It's a constant thing. That piece of stainless steel paid for half my dinner anyway. <laughs> huh? You have a good time? This pond where I'm about ready to show this fish, these people fishing, is the neighboring town, their library. In my last video I showed the other town's library. I guess pretty nice libraries around here. You wouldn't really think of it, but this pond is like a stocked place for family fishing and stuff. And the neighboring town has a monstrosity of a library with all kinds of community activities. You don't think about libraries uh, in that sense too often, at least I don't. But uh, libraries are kind of an interesting place. A well-funded library can only really do a lot of interesting things for the, for the town. Let's have a look at it. That ain't bad. Hey, that's a healthy looking fish, too. Yeah. Wow! Hey, that one, this has got some size to it. Wow, we're gonna take them home and cook them? Yep. Hey, that's a big one. That's the one, the, one, the first one I caught. Wow. My husband caught the other two. Is that the biggest one you've seen in here? I've seen a couple other ones. Today. Bigger than that? Some other people caught. Hey, come on. Oh, you like the You don't know what the fish is? <laughs> what the fish is? Fish. Maybe we go find your goosey friends? Uh-huh. Wanna go find your goose friends? Come on. Maybe we go sniff out your goosey friends. <laughs> Careful. The daredevil dog. Where's your goosey friends? Huh? Are you the daredevil doggy? Sheesh. <clears throat> Careful. What's that? Chris, what's that? <laughs> Careful. What is that? What's that? What is that? Huh? Good. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. What is it? Is that goose? That's the goose. What is it? What is it? Is that the goose? Get that. What is that? What is that? What is it? <laughs> it's a big... Oh, careful. Careful. Don't fall in. I know how exciting it can be. I know how exciting it is to see a plastic fake goose. Oh, it's turning towards you. It's turning towards you. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? How exciting is that? Huh? What? You wanna go find some more gooses? I have been told that the only thing in here are catfish, but that is a dead rainbow trout right there. Without a doubt, that's a dead trout. 
The only thing I've ever seen people catch out of here are catfish. And the people that fish here say the only thing in here is catfish. I bet it's a water quality issue. You know what I mean? That's a good size there. How many you catch tonight? Five. Five? I bet them catfish, I bet them channel cats eat these trout when they die. I bet they stock it with trout and I bet all the trout die. Because the water's no good for them. Because that guy looks like there's no signs of damage. He just dead. I'm pretty sure trout like a nice clean water. And this is kind of a dirty old pond. Now that we know all those bottles are totally empty, let's test out this packing job. Let's test it out. Wow, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> those bottles aren't touching each other whatsoever. I'm amazed by that. Huh. There's a little touch, but that's just because the top's open and this thing came down. That thing's doing a wonderful job. Well, excuse me. That's kind of a fun little video. The unsuspected video. I was just, I was actually a little late getting those books out. I was supposed to get them out today. So I just want to make sure they get out in the morning. I was just running down there. I wasn't even planning on making a video. But uh, I guess there's a video all on its own. I sure hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Anybody want to buy these chairs? They're a bit of a unicorn style. Never seen anything like it before. What's that mean?